I start with a basic sketch, which I then highlight so it's easier to see with a wash that when I paint over, I can kind of see the outline of the sketch. But as I add layers of paint, it blends into the painting. Here I'm blending layers upon layers of different paint colors so that you can see one color coming through in different areas.
here you really see how many layers I actually start to add when I am working in an area. It's hard to see with the camera angle, but if you're really close to it, the different colors fade through on different areas. So you'll have highlights, shadows, it kind of blends together, but it gives it way more dynamic color and contrast. It's, a, it's definitely something that you have to see in person to really appreciate.
I have finished the mountain and I'm just going to start blocking in color uh, for the background of the lower half and for the moose. Now these are just big blocks of color just to get it down and so that I don't lose the form. I will be working layer upon layer to add the details and the color shifts and the transitions and really add layers for the texture of the moose's fur. But that will be in a part two video later on.
hope you have enjoyed the painting process for part one and don't be afraid to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will do my best to get part two coming to you soon. Have a great day and check out our other videos and artwork with artwithshawnalee.com. Thanks. Bye.